The good news is, and it is good news, that in the struggle, there is a creation of something more. And this is a statement that you can count on. This is a statement that we're about to make that is really worth holding in your consciousness because this would free anyone from what you've just described. If your desire is strong enough, it doesn't matter what you believe. You come here with a variety of beliefs and a lot of the beliefs that you hold are not serving you well. Some of them are. But we've got you outnumbered as we just described. So what we bring to the room is knowledge of who you really are, which makes it more likely, after you hung around here for a little while and listened a little bit, for you to begin feeling the resonance with who you really are. So if you've got a strong belief, even though you have doubt, or even though you're having an experience, Esther had an experience of Jerry taken off. He told her when they first came together, strong possibility I might cut out on you early because he was two decades older than she was. And she said, I don't care. Turned out she did care. (laughs) But it took a while for her to not be absorbed in the discomfort. And so you can do it. Here's another statement that goes along with what you said. A disease perpetuates so much more rapidly after diagnosis because attention to it disallows the well-being that would be there otherwise or that the stabilizing influence that was there that much faster. Everything is about the direction of your thoughts. So what are you getting at? You've got something that you're driving at here. Yeah. I'm in a situation now where money's tight. It hasn't been that way. I kind of was given five-year-old twin girls and I decided early in my life that I didn't want to take on that financial obligation because I I didn't trust myself. So it's coming up a lot right now, seven, eight, nine times a day, just needing basic survival things like tires for my car. My kids want to go to the trampoline jumpy place and I have to say, I can't afford it. Here's the thing, whether you're in an uncomfortable position like you're describing or something that's less that, there are a lot of situations where People want something different than what they've got. But this is something that we really want you to hear. It is awareness of what is and your belief that this is reality. And therefore, your belief that since it is reality, it deserves a lot of your attention, if not your undivided attention. That prevents you from moving toward what you've actually already created. And so since this is such a pervasive scenario, so many people feel this way, we began describing it to you in these ways. You create your own reality. You know that, blah, 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 blah. Step one, two, three, four, five. Step one is ask, blah, blah, blah. Step two is source answers, blah, blah, blah. We even wrote a book about it. Step three is you get into the receiving mode. Step four is you get really good at that. Step five is you're so good at it that even when you step back into step one, which is a valuable and necessary thing, you're not mad at yourself. So we explained it in that way. Then we are aware that still these are just words to so many people because what is in their life is still controlling what they are offering vibrationally. So then we began saying, you really want to tell a new story. You want to tell the story the way you want it to be, not the way that it is. But even with that, most people are just offering lip service. They're saying what they want while they're feeling what they don't have. In fact, they're saying what they want because they're trying to overcome what they don't have. Well, anytime you're trying to overcome what you don't have, you've just activated the vibration of where you are. So the now reality keeps dominating. So then we say to you, Your now reality, what you call this manifestation or this now, is old news. It's like gum you've chewed all the flavor out of. It's old news. It's already done. Then we started to get some of your attention. It's really not the present tense. What is the present tense is this vibrational reality. Well, 
that was sort of hard for you to accept. So we began really talking about this vortex, this vortex of creation, this vibrational reality. We gave it the name Vortex. We wrote two books about this vortex. want you to understand that this is real. Hard for you to accept that something that you can't see and hear and smell and taste and touch is real. But it is. We know that it is. But words don't teach. So we can talk about your vortex all day long. But until you sense that it is there. So then... We're still looking for a way for you to accept the reality, this reality. So there's this reality where your inner being is, and there's this reality where you are. And the reality where you are has to do a little blending with this reality in order to let these, and then the words came from Jerry, turning thoughts to things. How do thoughts turn to things anyway? There are no pipelines bringing supplies in from other planets. Your economy and its evolution has been about your turning thoughts to things. And so then we began to explain to you that you've got this vibrational reality. Oh, it's pure positive energy. And it contains everything that you want, even things that you can't even identify that you want because the components of it are so expansive and the possibility of the exponential combining of them is more than your mind can even comprehend. This vortex exists on a vibrational level and it is coded to you through your vibrational association with it. You created it. It will always be yours. It's the other end of your lackful stick. It is for you.